Hey VIPs, it's Lexus Joy from Lexus Joy VIP Access and I have the great honor of catching up with the one and only Roger Bumpus who is the voice of the iconic character Squidward Tentacles <laughs> <laughs> and we're here celebrating the slime-tastic makeover of the iconic restaurant Carney's which is slime filled and has a whole lot of fun in store but first off what is it like for you being here today at Carney's memorable makeover this is a wonderful thing. It's a combination of two iconic things, SpongeBob and, uh, and Carney's. And uh, uh, Angelinos have come here for decades for a good hamburger and a good hot dog. And now we're coming here for a little bit more. We got the green chocolate slime dipped frozen bananas. Whoa. That sounds delicious, so everyone should come before July 9th because it's going to be a whole lot of fun and they should definitely go and taste it. Now, SpongeBob's big birthday blowout is premiering on July 12th, which is a fun live action and anime crossover. What was it like for you working on that and also taking on the human version of Squidward? That was so surreal to do that episode. We have heard each other do our uh, characters in the studio for 20 years, but once you're on camera and doing it to someone face to face it's really really strange and it's very very uh, challenging to try to look and act like your character and I did my best and we know you did such a phenomenal job so we can't wait to see that it's gonna be so much fun now also if you could swap lives for the day with Squidward what would you do as him well, I, I practice my clarinet a little bit more than he does. I become better at the interpretive dance, and I would give up the canned bread. Very, very cool. Now, speaking of clarinet, who taught Squidward how to play the clarinet? Oh, he's self-taught, can't you tell? Very nice, very nice. Now, also, we know that Squidward isn't the happiest employee at the Krusty Krab. Now, if you could have him try out any job that you think he would actually enjoy, what job do you think it would be? In the unemployment line. <laughs> That's about only thing he's qualified for, and self-portraits. True, true that. Definitely not a clarinet teacher, though, right? Not a teacher, no. no. Teach you how not to do it, yes. There we go. Now, also, we just found out that Nickelodeon announced a spin-off series of SpongeBob SquarePants. Now, if you could have a spin-off series all about Squidward, what would you want it to be about? Well, my fantasy is having a spin-off where it's all live action, just like we did with uh, SpongeBob's uh, uh, birthday blowout. That was so much fun to do. So that's just my dream wish, that's all. Excellent. Well, everyone again should tune into that on July 12th. If you could bring out one message to all of your fans, what message would that be? My gosh. Pursue your dream. I've been pursuing my dream for 20 years now, and I haven't gotten there. That doesn't mean you can't, but, you know, because I'm underappreciated, underpaid, and underwater. But I keep on struggling, and you should too. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, it is such an honor interviewing you again. I mean, you have touched the lives of many with your brilliant character, but thank you so much for chatting with me. And everyone, make sure to come to Carney's to see this fun. Bye. Also, on, on the weekends, if you come over here, you can get virtually slime for a photograph. All the slime, all the fun, all the silliness, and none of the mess. No cleanup. So everyone, make sure you come to Carney's. Bye, guys.